If you want the highest FPS and lowest input lag, the NVIDIA control panel has powerful settings that most gamers ignore. In this video, I'll show you the best tweaks that actually boost performance and make your games feel smoother and more responsive. These settings work across all games and are completely safe to apply. Let's get started. If you're looking to fix stutters and boost your FPS, optimizing the NVIDIA app is one of the most important steps you can take. Open the NVIDIA app and the first and most important step before applying any NVIDIA settings is to make sure your graphics driver is up to date. Go to the drivers section and check for updates. If a new version is available, install it immediately, but always make sure you're downloading the game ready driver, not the studio driver. Game ready drivers are specifically optimized for gaming performance and compatibility with the latest titles, whereas studio drivers are designed for creative work and may not deliver the best FPS or stability in games. Keeping your drivers updated with the right version ensures you get the latest performance improvements and bug fixes for a smoother gaming experience. Now let's head into the settings tab and open the program settings section. From here, you'll see a list of installed games on your system. NVIDIA provides an auto-optimize feature that analyzes your hardware and sets the best in-game graphics settings for each title. It's a one-click solution that works well for most games, especially if you're not sure which settings to tweak manually. Simply select a game from the list and click the Optimize button. This sets recommended values that balance performance and visuals based on your system's capabilities. It's a great starting point before doing deeper tweaks in the global settings section. Now move to the global settings tab where you'll find the core system-wide performance controls. Let's begin with CUDA, GPUs. Make sure this is set to all so your system uses the full potential of your GPU for any compute heavy tasks. Next, look for DSR factors and DSR smoothness. These are used for dynamic resolution scaling but can consume unnecessary resources. If you're focused on FPS and performance, keep all DSR options disabled to avoid added load on your GPU. Now go to low latency mode and set it to on. This setting reduces the number of frames queued by the GPU, lowering input delay and improving responsiveness. For competitive games, you can also try setting it to Ultra, but it may slightly increase GPU load. After that, turn on image scaling. This feature allows games to render at a lower resolution while using sharpening filters to maintain clarity. Enabling it gives a noticeable FPS boost, especially in newer or heavier games. Keep the sharpness level between 20-30% for the best visual balance. Next, set max frame rate to just below your monitor's refresh rate, like 58 for a 60Hz display. This keeps GPU usage stable and reduces frame pacing issues. Now scroll to OpenGL GDI compatibility. For most users, leaving this on auto works best, unless you're working with older OpenGL-based games or software that requires specific adjustments. The same goes for the Vulkan OpenGL present method. Leave it on auto for best compatibility across games. Under power management mode, switch from optimal power to prefer maximum performance. This keeps your GPU clock speeds high during gaming, preventing stutters caused by sudden downclocking. Then find shader cache and make sure it's turned on. This setting stores compiled shaders on your drive so your games don't lag when loading new effects. If you see an option for shader cache size, leaving it on default is fine for most systems. Now go to texture filtering, negative LOD bias and set it to allow. This improves texture clarity when MIP maps are used, especially in fast paced games. But if you prefer maximum performance, you can also set it to clamp to avoid shimmering. Lastly, make sure vertical sync V-Sync is turned off. V-Sync often introduces input lag and can reduce FPS. Only enable it if your monitor has visible screen tearing and no G-Sync or adaptive sync support. Once you've adjusted all the settings, click apply and restart your game. These changes inside the NVIDIA app are simple, powerful and focused on maximizing smoothness, reducing input delay and getting the best FPS possible, especially if you're trying to eliminate micro stutters and lag in modern games. Now that we've finished optimizing everything inside the NVIDIA app, there are still a few important settings that aren't available there. 
For those, we'll need to open the NVIDIA control panel. Right click on your desktop and select NVIDIA control panel from the menu. These extra settings give you more control over how your GPU handles graphics and display behavior, and they can help reduce stutters and boost overall performance. Once the control panel opens, go to the Manage 3D Settings section and stay on the Global Settings tab. Scroll down until you find Threaded Optimization and set it to Auto. This setting allows your GPU to use multiple CPU threads efficiently, which can improve performance and smoothness in modern games. Below that, look for triple buffering and make sure it's set to off. Unless you're using VSync, this setting is unnecessary and may add input lag. Next, move down to the texture filtering options. Set texture filtering, quality to high performance. This prioritizes FPS by lowering some visual effects that aren't noticeable during gameplay. Make sure texture filtering, Trilinear optimization is set to on and texture filtering. Negative l bias is set to clamp. These tweaks help textures load more efficiently while preventing shimmering or blurriness during movement. Once you've applied these settings, go to the Display Change Resolution tab. Here, select your primary display and make sure the resolution is set to your monitor's native resolution, usually 1920x1080. Also, make sure you've selected the highest refresh rate available for your monitor, like 60Hz or 75Hz. This ensures your games don't run at a lower rate, which can cause unnecessary stuttering. Now go to Adjust Desktop Size and Position. Under the Scaling tab, change the scaling mode to No Scaling and make sure it's set to Perform Scaling on GPU. This gives your graphics card full control over how display scaling is handled, reducing input lag and improving image quality during resolution changes. Also, uncheck the option that says override the scaling mode set by games and programs so games can use their own optimized display methods. After everything is done, click apply and close the control panel. These remaining settings fill in the gaps left by the NVIDIA app and help fine tune your system's graphics behavior. Combined with the earlier tweaks, your system is now fully optimized for smoother gameplay, lower stutters and better overall responsiveness. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. So guys, apply these settings and enjoy smoother, faster gameplay instantly. If this helped, make sure to like, subscribe and stay tuned for more performance guides.